Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. I am an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader and today we are here for the cancer season. My predictions. I'm going to be telling you what's going on in the sky. Kind of give you a quick description of what a cancer is and I will also have some channeled messages and um, events that my spirit guides are telling me to tell you the collective if you're looking to just cut right to the chase i will put the timestamps in the comment section and in the description if you're just looking to cut right to the fun stuff please remember to subscribe leave a comment, leave a like, and if you're looking for a private one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can find all the information and prices in the description. All right, so what is a Cancer? The Cancer sign is the fourth sign of the Zodiac Wheel. Um, they are a little bit more emotional, but they are very nurturing, highly intuitive, and sensitive. They also... Um, maybe a little bit more insecure about things, which might kind of help them in their intuition and um, their nurturing. Because of this, be ready for a lot of things um, in terms of great profound healing or um, communication. A lot of this stuff is going to start coming up within the next month, cancer season. Uh, started on June 21st and it's going to last until July 22nd. So let's see what kind of events are going to be happening here in the sky. According to my notes, on June 26th, there's going to be Mercury in Cancer. This is going to be the best time to communicate with people that are close to you. Do not take things too seriously. That is my uh, one advice I can give to you on this date is to not take everything to heart, not take everything so seriously. On June 30th, Neptune retrograde. This is going to happen until December 6th. Um, I think this is going to really heighten those spidey senses. If you are already feeling it, seeing a lot more synchronicities or coincidences, if you want to call them, um, your spidey senses are tingling. <laughs> and the truth behind uh, fantasies are really going to start to reveal themselves. Um, I'm already starting to see some of those patterns come up, especially within the last couple of days. Um, you know, with everything that's been going on in the world, there's just been a few major events that are really revealing some truths. On July 3rd, there's going to be a full moon in Capricorn. We just had a new moon in Gemini, I believe. Yeah, new moon in Gemini. Uh, so July 3rd will be the next um, lunar event. That's going to bring a lot of focus on the outside world, materialistic type of stuff. And on July 17th, we'll have another lunar event, the new moon in Cancer, which is going to really um, create a real sense of belonging in the world. I am not an astrologer, so I could be missing some major or other key events that are happening but um that is what i have in terms of my predictions for the next month or so so let's just go ahead and dive into some of my channel messages that i got during my meditation for cancer season so this month be prepared i'm going to see a lot of obsessiveness obsessing over worldly issues um I feel like this sort of energy will pass as the energy starts to shift and focus on, um, you know, lots of deeper things. But right now I see a lot of focus on, um, like tangible things, materialistic things. Lots of people think that you can't be rich and kind or make lots of money and be spiritual. I feel like this is a really big theme for, uh, a lot of the collective and it's just simply not true 
expect the unexpected there's a lot of synchronicity that abounds that's around that's happening right now as we speak uh, this season brings a lot of profound healing and wisdom the energy again is shifting to bring a lot of resolution to physical mental and emotional blocks and know at a really deep level that there's an important healing that is taking place in time um, you'll break through and see results that you've been really really working hard to create this message was really slow getting to me um, so you know these results may be very delayed there may be some sort of disappointment with close relationships um, the way that this shift of of the energy it's really changing your daily life it's really trying to bring a lot of focus on making yourself and your happiness a first priority this is where i start to get this um feeling from the planets things aren't always simple jupiter is really sticking out to me right now because i feel like jupiter wants you to take a deeper look at reality the reality that some things people emotions could or have already caused chaos destruction or um be totally some sort of unexpected change there may be like a sudden realization of how to handle work problems in a new way uh, maybe it's becoming increasingly difficult to communicate with someone um, there's just there's a breakdown of status quo that may leave you a little bit tangled up and there's assumptions attitudes and biases that are just gonna go up in flames I feel like this could be like one person always giving and another that's always taking and it may seem fair at some point but then something is still really off balance you need to ask yourself do you have too much does someone else not have enough you may get caught up to um you know or in wanting to gain as much as you can in materialistic things but because of this an effort to re-establish fairness comes up it's almost like a charity vibe you may see this theme of wanting to keep structure to do that you're gonna have to venture into like uncharted untamed territory and you will see new potential for organization and structure and i also have this feeling like you're gonna have to ground and protect yourself um in kind of in like a kind of spiritual sense you know, don't let the logical part of your mind stop you from exploring something that may make you a little bit more vulnerable. You may have high expectations, which will really affect your self-esteem. Your sternness is um, also coming across kind of cold, even if you do care. I think this is where you can kind of see the um, traits of cancer zodiac sign coming into play with a little bit of insecurity and um, you know trying really hard to to nurture everybody and yourself that can easily get lost so it's important to gain knowledge or learn whatever get some info about the matter at hand or whatever it is that you're, that you're dealing with um this could come in by messages or newspaper television or like some sort of email i'm getting like something about socials whatever it is that you're trying to get organization with um or or you know be more vulnerable to or whichever there's something about social something social that can help you it's okay to be curious about the new things that are being presented to you as well i'm kind of getting like 
you know, this new information that's coming to you. It's like the curiosity that makes you lack patience and responsibility. You may be um, at someone's mercy for a really good tongue lashing or even like spicy gossip. <laughs> it's It's possible someone feels really free to speak their own um, mind, assumptions, biases, or like even prejudices. I, I just, I just feel like you, you may see or feel like, um, you are having to surrender to the pressure, but, um, ultimately you are really just facing your fears and, um, you know, speaking your truth. And I think it's also, kind of important to ignore some criticism so that you can take control back. If you're looking for organization, if you're looking to like build or have some sort of structure, get the information that you need so that you can take your control back, but also not listening to what everybody has to say. That's kind of a good message too from this. It's coming up in a lot of readings that I'm doing or um, YouTube videos that I'm watching, stuff like that, like it's starting to get more and more difficult to work with people. Um, I think that this month the collective is going to be gaining a really um, wider perspective, higher and wider perspective. I'm getting this need to see yourself in a different light or see someone else in a different light. It's also like looking at things through like somebody else's eyes, if that helps. This could just, you know, help heed a call, follow a path or, you know, help you take the action that you need. And I'm like hearing like it's something particular, it's a particular action. Um, you know, without withdrawing from your regular routines or your everyday activities, um, this next move may be a more direct approach to, um, you know, reconcile the opposites that you're having. The goal is to bring balance back, to have harmonious environments, um, you know, actions always have consequences. I feel like there's also a big theme of accountability in the last past couple weeks. Um, you know, have your actions landed you where you are? Can you learn something from your situation? This is simply a form of karma for some of you. And the sooner you learn karmic lessons, the better off you will be. This season, there may be the want or um, tendency to rebel against ethical laws, even when you know better. Like, this is wanting to look for an easy way out. Whether this is, like, being sneaky or cleverness or, like, you know, even having the audacity... There's something about this month where there's possible lies and dishonesty in cancer season. There is an urge to stay ahead of the game, to, um, you know, be ha like have resourceful behavior or like be a part of dodgy deals, trying to get away with something. My big, big thing here is don't be manipulated and don't be the manipulator you don't have to show or tell everybody what you're doing but it's important not to be a part of some sort of game or do dodgy deals or make it seem like you are a problem or the problem another prediction that i have this month is the ego your ego can all too easily create its own prison there is a high price paid for good fortune and realizing you know it's no longer healthy to be with people possessions situations or even past events um keep enough energy for yourself 
stop trying to control everybody in every situation and try a more relaxed attitude and approach. There may be people working together or, um, you know, building stronger, closer relationships that battle ideas, battle thoughts, battle opinions, but have to come to a compromise. I see that this month, people might be looking for an argument. You might have a short fuse and you may be mentally burnt out. Uh, whether this is like an, like an already thing for you or coming into the next few weeks, but the sense of being burnt out um, is, is very strong. There has to be a common ground. Common ground is very, very important. It's important to get stress levels under control. And when that happens, watch a peacefulness and harmonious environment start to flourish. Whether it's with people, a workplace, home life, um, close relationships, whatever this is, I, I feel like it's um, going to bring a lot of better environments and people and, and just like an overall kind of like a peace that falls over everything this month. Issues aren't as bad as you believe them to be. So did I lose you yet? <laughs> this is a lot of information to take in, lots of downloads that I got for a cancer season, but um, clearly these messages had to be delivered. There is a lot going on in the universe. Uh, you know, in our universe and outside of our bubble. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're following along. <laughs> uh, possibly an earth sign energy um, that is using their power for negative use is what I'm feeling as well. Um, I feel like there's possibly mean spirited people or, um, someone here who's trying to be a social climber somebody who's jealous you know when they there's somebody here that's again possibly an earth sign um they come across charming and nice but there is like an undertone of sinister behavior almost if that makes sense keep it keep an eye out for that i don't think that's exactly happening in the early cancer part of the season but definitely later on i feel like mid cancer season to late cancer season this could also be like somebody thinks that they are leading in a positive way but they're coming across as sinister this person this energy that I'm feeling um, needs to learn to be a little bit more lenient and not to be so self-centered and controlling or vice versa. However, this um, energy falls into play for cancer season. But the moves that you've made or that you will be making this month will bring success. Uh, fortune favors the brave. So remember that you may need to travel you may need to try something new. Um, you may have to even change a belief system or two. It's kind of like a catch 22 for some of you as well. And I feel like um, I get this feeling of being scared to jump in, but um, you know, this change can kind of spark a reckless behavior or excitement, uh, whatever this is. But again, fortune favors the brave. It's almost like never having enough never never being happy even though like you finally attain security and in a comfortable environment but you're always looking for better you're always looking to strive for better be mindful of the opportunities and the offers that are available to you um because you can't make everyone happy if they don't wish to work with you or to or to compromise Okay, you may be able to communicate with others and really know how everyone feels by the end of cancer season. I think you may even find yourself doing group work or, you know, interacting with others much better. I think by, 
you know, the end of cancer season, you'll start to see that you're ready to give 110% to these new changes, to see things from a different perspective. And that is going to attract people that don't mind hard work, that don't mind having to, you know, commit or be committed and um, that don't have a problem achieving goals and, and compromising to do that. It'll be a little wild to overcome the challenges to get to this point. <laughs> it may feel that way, um, but there are new collaborations that will make it worthwhile. And I feel like cancer season, um, there's a lot of inner and surrounding healing and change to be made. All right. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of information to just kind of throw at you guys and hopefully some of it resonates. Hopefully you can um, take some advice that I've given you during this um, reading, I guess if you want to call it that. But these are my predictions going into cancer season 2023. If you guys uh, would like a more personalized private reading, you can always go to my description and find the information there. I do suggest that you come back in the middle of cancer season and even at the end to see if this reading um, helps you, gives you some more insight, clarity, guidance, whatever it is that you're looking for. Love and light to you guys. Thanks so much for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.